Hey everybody. So typically in my class in Sunday school, after we've had our Bible time story and our singing time and our prayer time, we also do a craft. So I'm going to show you guys a craft that goes along with the story we read today, The Lost Lamb. Um, we have done several sheep crafts in my Sunday school class, so it's getting a little harder to find more creative ideas. Um, if you'd like to do a different sheep craft, Pinterest has got a plethora of sheep ideas. Everything from pom-pom balls to um, sheep masks with cotton balls. Um, you can make a ton of different sheep crafts. But here's one that talks about our story today. So if you'd like to make the one that goes with what I would give our class to do, um, this is what we're making. We're going to make a sheep scene that shows a sheep looking at the number 100 in the sky because in our story the shepherd went after the lost sheep because he cares about each and every one of us. To do this craft, all you're going to need at home is some blue construction paper and some green construction paper. Um, you're going to need some white paper that you can make a stencil number one and a stencil number zero out of. You'll need a pencil, a black sharpie marker, a pair of scissors, you're going to need some glue, you're going to need some cotton balls, and last but not least, googly eyes. And if you don't have googly eyes, that's okay. You can always use markers um, or punch out a little white hole piece of paper and then use a, um, a marker to make a black eyeball out of that too. So these are not required. There's always other ways to do it, but if you have these, that's great. So let's get started. You want to take your um, white paper and free draw a block number one and a block zero. They don't have to be perfect. In fact, the more odd shaped you can get them, the better it'll be. Because you're going to go to your blue paper and you're going to trace the number 100 on your blue paper. Um, I went ahead and used pencil first, but if you just want to cut out the middleman and just use your black marker, you can do that too. And just trace these numbers on the top corner of your paper. And it's okay if they're sloppy or messy. Um, this would be a great opportunity for your toddler to learn how to trace things um, as they are learning to hold a pencil correctly. You may have to help them a bit. And so there's your blocky one. And we're going to do a blocky zero here. If you don't want to cut out a stencil and you just want to free draw the 100 on your paper, you can do that too. Um, there's no right or wrong way to really do this craft. And as you can see, even Mrs. Poe struggles to stay within the line sometimes. And, whoops, see, just like that. And we're going to come up over our zero here. And that's okay too. Sometimes the clouds in the sky bunch together beautifully. And so that's our 100 on our paper. Now the next thing you're going to need are some cotton balls. Um, and as I've recently discovered, cotton balls come in two different types. There's one type that just rips and shreds and pulls like this. And that's fine if that's the kind of cotton ball you have. That works perfectly well too. There's another kind of cotton ball though that unrolls. And if you get those kind, those are really kind of nice for what we're going to do here because then it'll lay nicely in your numbers. And you're going to want to stretch these cotton balls out so that you can lay them in your numbers. Here's one that unrolls. I really have a desire to watch a how do they make cotton balls video since I've discovered this. I'm very curious as to how these things are constructed. So, and then another one for your zero. And you can get them as thin or as fluffy as you want them to be because clouds can be thin and fluffy. Clouds. Okay, when you have enough, then you want to take your glue and you want to pour the glue over the number one and over your zeros. And then you want to lay your cotton around like so. If your preschoolers are having trouble with this, you may have to help them a little bit. 
This will help work with that fine motor skills as they're learning to use their fingers to do things. And I got a little piece here we can put on the one. And here's another one for our zero here. If you're working with your kids on 100 day of school, this is another fun craft to do then also. Because we'll be talking about 100 sheep. And we can lay these in the shape of a one at the top there too. That looks a little thin, so I'm going to put a little bit more glue on to make that look a little fluffier. There, so that's our 100 cloud. Now, you need to go to your green paper, and we need to cut across a sheet from the short edge for our grass, for our pasture, for our sheep. And then, my kids like to make fringe. And fringe is easy to make. I will have the paper folded in half. And then you just want to place, excuse the dog, she's easily excited. You want to um, just start cutting about half an inch to one inch into the paper. Um, I recommend using safety scissors, not um, sewing shears that no longer work because some of these children use them to cut paper a long time ago. We won't mention any names here, but um, safety scissors are good for little kids because they don't have the sharp pointy edges. But I haven't cut myself in about 12 to 48 hours, so I don't need the safety scissors today. Then you want to very gently roll your fringy up because most grass doesn't just lie flat. Most grass pops up a bit and that gives it kind of a 3D appearance. And then again, you want to add glue. and glue on the bottom. So there's your pasture. And now we have to make our sheep. For the sheep, you're, one, you're gonna wanna have about four to five fluffy cotton balls. And this is easy. You just want to put some glue on a cotton ball. If you'd like for your toddler to put some glue on a plate and they can dip the cotton ball into the glue and then put it on the plate or on your paper, that might be more effective, especially if you have multiple children making this craft. Um, having a center plate of glue is easier than having everybody fight over the glue bottle. And then you can make the body of your sheep just like this. The fluffier, the better for our nice little lost sheep. Now, with your Sharpie marker, we're going to draw in the details of our sheep, the head, the ears, and the legs, and the tail. You can also cut these out of black construction paper if you'd like, and then glue them on your paper um, if, if you have black construction paper at home. Otherwise, mark, marker is just fine. It doesn't have to be a Sharpie either. It can be a regular marker also. For the head, you just want to make a big U. And then you want to color in your U shape. If you want to make your sheep a black sheep, you can also dye your cotton balls. Um, it's a, a longer process to do that and it takes a few days for them to dry. But you can do that also. For the tail, you just want to put a circle behind him and color that in. And then for his legs are just rectangles. This will help your preschooler with shapes too. And of course with coloring. And one more leg for our sheep. We'll put it on the grass because he's looking to go eat. Here we go. And now for our eye, you can put a little dot here for his eye. Again, like I said, if you don't have these um, googly eyes, just take a single hole punch, punch out a piece of white paper and then use a black marker to fill that in and that makes your eyeball also. And there is your, oh, we forgot the ear. 
So we can put an ear up here. That would be another U shape on the top of his head. And there we are. There is your little lost lamb. So I hope you enjoyed our craft today and our story on the little lost lamb. And we will look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.